Open Days Tour, and this is one of the most anticipated days in the Austin gardening calendar with good cause. Some of the most spectacular gardens in the community open for you to tour. Joining me now to talk about that are Charlotte Warren and Laura Bowles, who are the co-chairs of the event this yes. year. Thank you for coming on Central Texas Gardener to open these garden gates for us. Oh, thank you, it's our pleasure. We're so excited about the tour this year. Um, it will occur in October on the 16th, Saturday. And um, we have such a lovely, diverse group of gardens. We're, we're really pleased. Well, you um, should be. I've seen the previews of this. Uh, an eclectic mix uh, uh, from the spectacular, like we just witnessed, to the e eclectic and fun. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. there's, yeah. there's something there that I think every single person will enjoy. Right, right. Well, let's give people kind of the, the who, what, where, when. You've already said October 16th is yes. the day. Yes, yes. And um, this is a one-day event? It's a one-day event. Starts at 9 in the morning, mm -hmm. goes till 5 o'clock in the afternoon, rain or shine. Right. So this will be the day. Okay. And um, all of the gardens will be open. These mm -hmm. are all private gardens, of course, that um, people might rarely get to, a chance to see. Right. And um, tickets are available at various retailers. I'm sure right. we'll talk about that in a few minutes. Sure. Well, people can learn more about it, of course, on our website at klru.org slash ctg. But they're, they're available at um, retail centers all over the city. The locally owned garden shops will have tickets available yes. for, again, for the Garden Days Open, uh, the C Garden Conservancy Open Days Tour. Yes. And uh, you can buy a book of tickets or you can buy individually, right? That's correct. You can buy a book of six tickets mm -hmm. for all of the gardens uh, for $25, or you can go to each individual garden and buy a $5 ticket for that particular garden. Well, it's, it's a great way to go out there and steal wonderful ideas, which is one of the things I always encourage people to do is if you want to create a beautiful space, go out there and see some beautiful spaces and bring some of the ideas home. And you know, one of the things that I really enjoy about the, the Conservancy Tour is the fact that um, homeowners, the gardeners themselves, are often there and enjoy interacting with the, the public, right? I think so. I think they're proud of their gardens and enjoy sharing their experiences mm -hmm. with, with others that appreciate what they've done. Right. Well, and you know, gardeners tend to like other gardeners and uh, have sure. fun time and conversing about those mm -hmm. things, so people will have that opportunity. Why don't we start, we've already kind of started on the grand scale with the beautiful garden we just featured, but let's move people through some of the other so the gardens that people are going to see. Now, one that looks really charming to me, you're calling Eastside Patch as, and, as the name of the garden, and this one just looks like a fun family garden. It is. It's, it's owned by Leah and Philip Leverage, and they have designed it installed it and maintain it mm -hmm. all themselves and it, it's beautiful they have young children and it is just an extension of their home mm -hmm. the children are out playing in the backyard and i think the neighborhood comes over and gathers there well this is on the east side of austin obviously mm -hmm. given that by the name and what I, what I like about what I see here is just the exuberance of the space i mean it's a historical cottage which is great but the cottage serves as a backdrop for a garden that just feels playful, it feels like Austin. It does. There are meandering paths and there is xeric landscaping and structure and um, it's just a, a wonderful sort of playground for the children, but it's a beautifully inspiring area, mm -hmm. I think, for, uh, for adults, for mm -hmm. us gardeners to go visit. Well, it also strikes me as being a plant person's garden that there are a lot of unusual things in this garden that people can go and see, uh, uh, maybe for the first time. I think so. I think they experiment a good deal there. They have a wonderful website that, um, with, with lots of blogging and information for visitors. So. Okay, so that's East Side Patch, and that's going to be a wonderful stop on the tour that people will enjoy.